Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Overkill Trading. Today, we are taking a look at some stocks and cryptocurrencies. I got the watch list for you guys, what you should be watching this week. Some crypto and stocks in here that look like they want to absolutely explode. I also got your guys' chart requests over here inside the Discord, which we will be covering first. If you guys have those throughout the week, make sure you're dropping those over here. We got quite a few to run through today, plus the watch list. So we're going to be diving in right here, right now into those chart requests. And the first one's going to be DJT. And DJT is Donald J. Trump's media company. And this thing has had a massive, massive move <laughs> over the last few days. Obviously, there's an election today. It's November 4th. So we have a election coming up uh, in one day, presidential election. So if he gets elected, I'm, I'm gonna, I'd imagine this thing is probably going to move really big either one way or the other. Um, it, the chart right now, right, the monthly chart's pointing straight up. So the, the chart is green, right? It doesn't have a green dot just yet, but it is green. We had a big, massive candle. I mean, this thing, if you look at the weekly chart here, okay, you take a look at this green dot back in September. That came right there at $15. It pumped all the way up to 55 I mean, that was like a 300% move. You could see it hit that Bollinger Band right there, that red line, okay, at 55. That's normally where we want to be taking profits, okay? Again, we're also wanting to take profits when this stochastic RSI, this light blue line, is touching this white dotted line up here. So that was the signal back there at $15 you got on the weekly. The monthly chart does look like it wants to run. It still doesn't have the monthly dot. It did show up at the beginning of the month, but then it faded. So what I'm looking for on DJT is a green dot on the daily, okay? Just like we got right here back in September, okay? Right there at 13, thing pumped all the way up to 54, like I said. So right now, right, profit taken, okay? The, the majority of retail investors are buying up here at 55 because they're really excited. Oh, it's Donald J. Trump. Okay, they're already too late. They should have been buying back here off the green dot. So in my opinion, this is a, this is a crap shoot right now. <clears throat> okay, what you want to do on DJT is wait for a green dot on the daily chart. Okay, we do have the confirmation on the monthly. It is pointing up. So we're in here on the daily after we get the confirmation uh, on the monthly. We're in here on the daily. I think this thing could pro potentially come down to 25. I think 25 would be a great level to buy this. Again, it's a crapshoot right now. If he wins the election tomorrow, you'll probably see it back at $55, $60. It's more of a gamble to me at this point, right? I would have wanted to buy down here at 15 not up here, right in the middle, right 30, where it can go either way. So uh, if you guys are new to the channel, our strategy is pretty simple. Okay, what we are looking for first before we buy anything is a green dot on our indicator down here on the monthly chart. So what that does is it tells us, let me go to Bitcoin, for example, because it's easier to show you. And Bitcoin does have one showing up this month here in November. But with that being said, okay, you can see this one over here came... Uh, January 2023. That was at 18. That was when Bitcoin was at $18,000. So the deeper the wave, right, the the further down here the wave is on the indicator, the more accurate, right, the, the better, because that just means we've had a massive pullback. You can see Bitcoin pulled back from 70 all the way to 18 there. Okay, that was back in, in, in January. Okay, and then you got the green dot way down here. So when the wave is way down here, that's typically, and you're getting a green dot, that's typically when you want to go long. Right, this took a year and a half to go from about eighteen thousand up to seventy. It looks like it hit seventy-five. So you're talking about a two hundred and fifty percent move there. Okay, and you got one up here. So the ones up here are a little more risky than the ones down there. Okay, but it is still green and it is still pointing up. So I think Bitcoin's going to have a massive move here. Okay, and as long as this dot remains green, I believe that that move is going to be to the upside. I don't think there's anything going to be holding this, this thing back from hitting hundred k. And you can see Bitcoin pulling back here on a daily chart now. So again, the goal as as using our strategy is first things first, we need a green dot on the monthly chart, right? We need to know that the monthly chart is going up. Okay, we want to buy during this time. We want to buy green candles on the monthly, not red candles, right? You don't want to be buying Bitcoin when we're red, 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 red. But when we flip to green, boom, that's when we start to add it to our watch list, right? And then once you have the green confirmation on the monthly, you want to look at the daily for pullbacks. And what are we getting here on Bitcoin? We're getting a pullback. So it's pulled back the last one, two, three, four, five days. All we're missing is a green dot on Bitcoin. So on the next green dot on Bitcoin, I'd be going long, right? I'd be going long for a trade. And then we sell when we get a red dot on the daily, okay, up here. 
or the stochastic RSI, like I said at the beginning, that light blue line hits this white dotted line. That's the trade, right? Here's 61 all the way up to 69. I mean, that's a good 15, 20% trade there on Bitcoin. Pulls back, okay? Green dot, boom, rip again. Rinse and repeat, pull back, okay? We just need the green dot. So I hope you guys understand that strategy. It is, it is pretty simple. Okay, again, I just like to make sure I'm trading with the trend, that we're trading with the trend here. And how we know that the trend is in our favor is depending on whether or not the dot is green on the monthly chart. So if you got a green dot on the monthly chart, Again, zoom into the daily and pinpoint your entry, okay? Because there's the, each one of these candles, it takes one day, okay? This is one day's worth of price action. If you look at this, this is one month's worth of price action. So if the monthly chart is going up, right, there's 30 candles in this little bar right here, okay? 30 candles produce this bar because there's 30 days in a month, right? So we're trying to pinpoint our entries based on the candle we're getting here on the monthly. So... Bitcoin looks really good here. Really, really good. Okay, again, I'd be a buyer on the next green dot on that one. Uh, I believe your request was DJT again. Same thing. Okay, no green dot. Okay, but it does have a green candle. And I just think there's a catalyst to this tomorrow. I think it's going to move, you know, up or down based on the results of the election. So to me, that's like playing earnings where it's like almost a crapshoot. In my opinion, DJT already had its trade, right? 13 all the way up to 55. If we're the smart money, Okay, if we're these people, we're taking profits up in this area. Okay, this is where retail wants to buy. Okay, oh, Donald J. Trump's running for president, right? Let's see, there's an election, right? You're too late. You're too late to the party. You should have been getting in down here or specifically on this weekly chart when you got this doji candle with a green dot right there at 15 and it jumped all the way up to 55. That was an absolutely insane move up about 300%. So uh, what I would do is wait for the green dot if you want to play this. Wait for the green dot on the daily on DJT. Let me go ahead and put this uh, Discord over on my other screen here so I can get through these. Uh, and again, if you guys got chart requests, there is a chart request thread right here. Just put them in here, okay? Put them right here, and I will answer them in future videos. Uh, MPC. That looks like a stock. That's going to be uh, MPC here. Again, red here on the monthly. Wait for the green candle or the green dot, okay? Don't even even look at the daily until you get the confirmation of the monthly. Here's Dollar Tree, also just ugly. Okay, get, getting absolutely wrecked. Okay, wait for the green dot on the uh, on the monthly. T E R. Okay, also red. Okay, red dot coming down. Like I'd be shorting all these names. I, again, we don't want to buy something that's going down. We want to buy something that's going up. Okay, up into the right is what we're looking for, not down into the right. Do we? Someone called this out earlier today or, or earlier in the week, and it had a pretty nice move. The the dot is green. Okay, we got green candles. I saw they just got uh, big news today that they're going to be added into the mid cap 400 index on November 6th. That's in two days. Moved really big on the news. You can see the green dot came right here on the 31st. I believe this is when it was called out in the Discord. It was called out. Okay, 26.82 is where the price was. That thing shot up to 29 today. That was about a 13% move today alone. Okay, beautiful move. I think this one's still got some meat on the bone. Where I'd look to sell this one on the daily is when the stochastic hits this white dotted line up here. Okay, wait till that stochastic gets back up here to the white dotted line or wait for a red dot. But I think this thing's going to move pretty big over the next couple of days uh, just because of all that volume coming in there. CELH, uh, this is Celsius Holdings. This one we've been watching for a while. Uh, and it looks like it's still hanging around 31. So uh, I'm bullish on the company. This this is more of a fundamental play for me just because I think they make a lot of money. Okay, I think their energy drinks are everywhere. Their all-time high was up here at 100 bucks. Okay, and they got absolutely smashed all the way down to 31. So if you're taking a look at CELH, yes, it's red. Okay, but they got earnings coming up here on Wednesday. That's in two days from now. Again, today is November 4th, the day we're looking at these charts. And it's been gone, going down for one, two, three, four, five, six days. This earnings has the chance to be the catalyst. And again, that's in two days here. It's got a green dot showing up today. So if you want to play it into earnings, just make sure it holds on to $30. Okay, $30 would be your stop loss play in this green dot. It had a pretty nice move off this last one here in October. That came at about $29.50. It shot up to $35.80. Uh, and yeah, this could be the earnings that sends it right? It's, it's pulled back for five months in a row, all the way back to all-time highs. It's like a, that's around a 250% move. 
Let me show you the gains on that. Okay, yeah, 228%. So again, if you put in 10,000 down here, you're gonna have around 38,000 if it goes back to $100. I think their company is credible. I mean, they're they're in every single store that I go into, grocery store, gas stations. You guys know the Celsius energy drinks. This is that company, ticker CELH. I'm a little, I, I don't like to gamble on earnings, but I got a feeling they're gonna beat because they beat their last one, two, three, four, five, six earnings. So we'll see how that does. I mean, if this thing comes down here to $12, right, get the truck. But uh, be careful on that one. Again, your stop loss should be right here at the bottom of this candle. Okay, probably right here at right around 30. Okay, watch for that one to move here this week off earnings. That's coming out Wednesday. Uh, the next one's going to be Riot, R-I-O-T. I like this one. Good call out. This one's in the watch list. We're going to go over here in just a little bit. R-I-O-T. This is a uh, Bitcoin miner. And look at this. We have a we have a green dot showing up this month on right. Okay, last time we got one of these was back here in January of 2023. It went from five dollars all the way up to 21. That was a 400 percent move. Okay, big big move. And you're getting that today, or you're getting that this month in November. And you can see the monthly dot. So the reason we use the monthly and the daily together is because when the monthly dot comes like this, it's normally after a really big move on the daily. I mean, this went from $7 all the way up to 11. That's a 60% move, right? So normally, right, what you want to do is then wait for a pullback on the daily. So that's why it's on the watch list is because now that we've had this big move to the upside, right, we don't want to buy after one, two, three, four, five, like 20 green candles, right? We want a pullback, okay, a pullback on the daily chart. And a green dot. So what I'm waiting for on Riot, again, it's on the watch list. We're going to hit all these charts here. This is my watch list for this week. And I think there's some really, really good setups in here. But what you want to do is wait for the pullback and the green dot on the daily chart. Now that you got the monthly, you see this, okay? Monthly dot means boom, add it to your watch list, okay? Immediately. And you should be in here waiting for a green dot, ideally down here, okay? You want to buy a green dot way down here, okay? If it comes below this 40 line, you can see that's the indicator. That means it's oversold there. That white line, if you can get the blue wave down there in a green dot, load the truck, okay? So this one's sitting right here on the 30. And again, guys, tomorrow's a massive catalyst, okay? A massive catalyst. So uh, if you're not in any positions yet, you should probably just wait to see what happens tomorrow with the United States election. Who knows what's gonna happen? I don't. Uh, I do know that if Kamala Harris gets uh, elected, she wants to uh, have a, unrealized capital gains tax that means you have to pay taxes on your assets that you hold like bitcoin uh even if you don't sell so even if i don't sell my bitcoin i still have to pay taxes on it if it goes up that year so uh that wouldn't be really good for the stock market or cryptocurrency in my opinions i think investors would probably try to find a different place to put their money maybe not all their money but some of their money like real estate or something like that but then again like who knows right who knows what's going to happen uh, we're technical traders here, so we don't really trade based off of news. We have to keep it in the back of our heads that, yeah, there's a catalyst tomorrow. Something could happen, right? It could cause a big move to the downside. It could cause a big move to the upside. But we're just being patient here. So Riot, I really like. Like, it's on my watch list right now. Again, you're seeing this monthly dot down here, just like you got back here before it went 400%. Okay, now let's just wait and be patient for a daily dot. Okay, again, we don't like to buy after 20 candles. We want to wait for the pullback. And this thing's pulled back really hard over the last uh, three or four days. And uh, it's sitting right on our 30-day EMA. So, again, my advice to you on Riot is to wait for the green dot now on the daily now that we have that monthly confirmation. Uh, Deso from T Hog, And, again, guys, these are all coming from the chart request thread over here. I got it pulled up on my other screen so I don't have to keep switching back on you guys. Uh, Deso. I think this is a stock. Oh, no, it's a cryptocurrency. Oh, my God. Okay, again, red, 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 red. Wait for green. Wait for green on the monthly before you act, okay? We don't know how far this thing could go down, okay? My advice to you is just to wait for a green candle or a green dot on the monthly chart down here on DSO. Uh, we got MPC. Did I cover this one already? Yes, I did. But, again, selling off really hard. It has earnings, it looks like, this week. But wait for a green dot, okay? We need the we need the trend to shift up on the monthly, then we can look at the daily, okay? As of right now, this thing's a falling knife. Uh, BA, this is Boeing, and this is also red. So again, wouldn't touch it until I see a monthly dot on the uh, 
on the indicator down here. Wait for that monthly dot. HWK. Uh, same thing. Red dot on the monthly. I'd be cautious. Okay. I'd be cautious here. Uh, it also has earnings, it looks like, coming up. Okay. It's getting absolutely plowed. It looks like it has a daily dot there. So, I don't know. 92 would have to be your stop loss if you want to play this. But, again, it's getting wrecked right here to, to start the month with a red dot. So, be careful on this one. Again, stop loss would be right here at 92. It had a nice green candle today. Had a big green dot down here. And uh, it could bounce. There's a good chance it could bounce. You just want to make sure we hold $92. I do not like the red dot on the monthly chart, though. I'd rather this dot be green. I'd rather be buying right here than right here. Okay. But it is still early in the month, so it can pump. And it looks like they don't have earnings until... Oh, geez. A long way away. It looks like they have an earnings along. Well, they reported their earnings. That's what caused them to fall so hard. Okay. So they got crushed on their earnings. If this thing bounces back, I'd watch for it to bounce up to 15. Just make sure you use a stop loss on that one at 92. Here's uh, HPE. And again, guys, we'll get to the watch list here in just a second. I want to make sure I get through all your guys' requests. And uh, the monthly chart is green, so that's good. Okay, so we're, we're in here on the daily. You got a green dot showing today. So I'd use a stop loss on this one around 90, uh, 1980. So you're risking about 80 cents to the downside off the green dot there. Again, if you want it to be if you get a green dot, you always want your stop loss to be at the bottom of the candle with the green dot. I always like to give it a little wiggle room. Okay, so 1980 is going to be your level you want it to watch. I'd probably move that thing down to like 1950. Use it at 1950 and see what happens. But it does have a green dot on the monthly, and it does have a green dot on the daily. So that is bullish. I'd be looking to sell around probably 21 or 22 bucks on, uh, what is that, uh, HPE. Here's PG. Procter and Gamble. Okay, red dot. Okay, I'd be shorting this. Okay, do not want to enter on red dots on the monthly chart. That means we're about to go down. Okay, you could see a move like this, and that would not be something that I would want to sit through. So, red dot means sell, folks. Green means buy, red means sell. Here's the CB. Chubb, also red. Okay, look to short that one. Uh, Best Buy, also red. Look to short that one. Uh, HON. It says Honeywell. That one's green, but it's just chopping around. I, I, I don't know. That, that had a pretty big move to the downside. So the daily is actually setting up okay here. If you enter it, play the stop loss at 204. Uh, we'll, we'll be targeting back up there to two, what is that? 222, seven. That's about a 7% move. If it ends up bouncing, you can move your stop loss up to about 205 if you want to play the green dot there. Just make sure it holds 205. Just not really doing a lot. A lot of chopping going along going on on uh, HON there. That's a pretty that's a pretty uh, high market cap uh, stock there. So obviously the higher the market cap, the less things move, and the lower the market cap, the bigger they move. So higher risk, higher reward plays. HON is not a high risk, high reward play. That's a that's a safe play there. You're probably only going to lose 1% to 2% on a, on a trade on that one. Uh, here's AO, AIOZ. Again, red, 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 red. Wait for the green dot on the monthly. QNT. UNT crypto, red, 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 red. Wait for the green dot on the monthly. Okay, just like you got it right there, that's the candle you want to play. Okay, that's our trade right there off the green dot. This thing's been absolutely annihilated. Okay, absolutely annihilated. I just want to, I want you to wait for confirmation on this. Okay, don't try to catch a falling knife. You could probably get it at a cheaper price here. Okay, it looks like they got support right there at around 50. But uh, again, just wait for confirmation. Okay, you'll never regret waiting for confirmation. Uh, you want to make sure that you want to make sure that uh, direction is in your favor. Okay, here's Shiba. Shiba had that pretty nice move last week. Uh, stop loss on this one's going to be zero 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 one five. The daily chart here is pulling back. So again, big move up, flush them down. Right, red dot. Okay, wait for the green dot on the daily and make sure this one holds this level right here at point zero zero. 015. Okay, do not buy this thing until you get a green dot right here on the indicator. Here's XRP. Good request here. This is actually currently my only position, and it actually has a red dot showing this month. So I got a stop loss on this one at around 48. Okay, 48. But look how deep this wave is here on the daily. I'm waiting for the green dot to see where that comes. I think they might wick this thing down and get a bunch of stop losses out of there. And then suck it right back up. I'm long on the project, so this is like one of those names. I'm, I'm a lot of people are Bitcoin maxis, but I'm like an XRP maxis to where I don't ever want to sell it. 
Uh, and if I do sell it, it won't be until right the monthly wave gets back up here. Right now we're just consolidating, right? We've been consolidating for almost three years. And I think the bigger the consolidation, right? The bigger we go, the longer we go sideways here, the bigger the move is to the upside. So you can see that in the cheat sheet here. The smart money buys when stuff is just going sideways. Okay, and this has been going sideways for almost two, two and a half years now. So I'm waiting for a big move like this on XRP. Okay, and I wanna sell when this wave gets way up here. Okay, I don't wanna sell like right here at the zero line. I want to sell up here. So that's a long hold for me. That's why I haven't been stopped out on it yet. Uh, if it goes any lower, I'm just going to keep buying more. But that's literally the only thing I'm holding right now. I got stopped I got stopped out on my other uh, two or three positions over the weekend. Uh, just with, obviously, uh, crypto hasn't been going up the last few days, which is fine. Uh, but there are still some plays in there that we need to be watching. So keep your eye on XRP. I'm still long on that. <clears throat> I still think it's a great fundamental play. It's not the best technical play. But I think you're going to be really happy one day when you, uh, if you hold this thing, if you hold on to it, just because of how big of a cult it has. And I mean, there's a lot of money to be made on it. So uh, it does have a red dot on the daily. If you're not in the position, I would encourage you to wait for the next green dot, just like we got right here. Okay, and if you were holding, you should have been selling right here on the 31st at about 51, 52. It's sitting down at 50 right now. So we'll see what this thing does. Uh, over the next couple of days with the election results and stuff like that. I really just want to sit on my hands till the election's over and we see who the president is of the United States because I think that's going to determine uh, a lot of stuff in uh, the crypto and stock market uh, this week. So uh, XLM looks like, wow, that's already back down to nine cents. So this is another one that just needs a green dot. Okay, it's it's uh, the blue wave is way down here. Okay, at the moment, way down here at the moment. So this is, again, typically when you want to be looking to buy. And again, another name that's been going sideways for a very, very long time. This one typically moves with XRP. So these things should move together. And I think a move is coming. I think there is a move coming here shortly. Uh, with XLM, I'd wait for the next daily green dot down here. This one came back at around the price it was at last time at around $0.09 cents and bounced. And it's sitting right at that level where it bounced last time. So we'll see if $0.09 cents holds. I like a stop loss on this one. Well, you can't really determine the stop loss until you get the green dot, but 0 0.087, if that level breaks, we could see a big uh, whip candle like this down, right? Boom, all the way down to seven and then suck it right back up. Okay, but we'll see what happens. Okay, wait for the green dot if you want to enter. Uh, if you're holding it, right, I just continue to remain long. Okay, you got a big, massive consolidation pattern. This thing's going to move big to the, to the upside over the next couple months. Okay, and I think I'm still bullish on Bitcoin and, and crypto as long as Bitcoin's dot holds into the end of the month. Again, the election could could make that go away, right? If Bitcoin comes down to 60, I think you should load the truck up. But uh, XLM and XRP are two plays that I really, really like. I know XR, XRP has a red dot this month, but uh, it's it's holding on to its support as of right now at about 48. Uh, CELH, we covered. Uh, we got DJT, we covered that. Uh, Robin, the, this is the... Uh, what do they call those? The trading app, right? Robinhood, this is where I actually buy my stocks at. And that one has a red, or I'm sorry, a green dot on the monthly. So what are we doing? We're in here on the daily looking for a pullback. It looks like they miss their earnings by a lot. So that's what caused it to sell off again. I never encourage people to hold their positions into earnings because of things like this. Okay, you saw this on Robinhood and you saw this on AMD. Okay, AMD pumped really nicely off its green dot that we called out from 54 all the way up to 170. And then what did, what happened? They missed their earnings and they got flushed on. So you guys need to have a strategy going into earnings. <clears throat> but you shouldn't just hold your position, right? Sometimes I, I would encourage you guys, if it's way up here, right? If the wave is way up here around earnings, okay, I would definitely be selling. I would definitely be taking profits on that. You can see when it gets into that red line on our Bollinger Bands here. Okay, and by the way, if you guys don't have the indicator, you guys can get the, you guys can download it. Just click the link in the description. It'll take you over to the Discord and uh, you could download the blue wave uh, with the green and red dots and the Bollinger Bands. Literally everything loads directly into your TradingView account. All you got to do is come down here to the Trading Indicator tab, click this link, and in two clicks, you can load in the Bollinger Bands and this Trading Indicator down here into your TradingView account. You do need a basic TradingView account in order to use it. But uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, that's right there in the description and pinned in the comment section. But I like Robinhood still. Okay, the monthly's still green. I would just wait for the green dot on the daily now. If you get a green one down here like you did in September, back here at uh, 19.5, okay, that thing pumped all the way up to 25. 
Okay, I gave you another one right in here. Boom. Ideally, you want to buy the green dots, though, down here below the white line. Those are the best setups, just like this one right here. August 7th, bang. $17 all the way up to 21 Pulled back, gave you another one there at 19 Boom, up to 25 It's a beautiful trade. Beautiful trade there. Beautiful trade there. Okay, Robinhood, I like the pullback. I, I get excited when I see pullbacks like this. Okay, some other people don't like it, but I like it when it pulls back like this. Because that just means we're going to set up, okay? We just need to be patient and wait on the confirmation of the green dot, okay, from our indicator. And that's where we attack, okay? Robinhood is, it's not quite on the watch list, but it is something we are watching. It's on the green list. This is the watch list here, and we're going to get to that here in just a minute, folks. Uh, ANF. Uh, that one looks pretty good on the daily here. Okay, I'd use a stop loss on this one at 130. I actually like this one for a trade on the daily, but the red... It's red on the monthly here. So that's what worries me. That's what would disqualify it from, from me uh, wanting to buy it. But it could bounce here back up to 162. Wait for the green dot if you want to play it. Uh, if you want to play the green candle today, put a stop loss at about 130. Okay, if you're playing this candle here. I think you should see a green dot tomorrow if we're up. But again, you're trading against the trend right now. Okay, candles are red on the monthly. Candles are red on the monthly. Okay, and I don't even know what this thing does. And so we actually have a research tool over here that if you type in slash info and then the stock or the crypto that you guys want to uh, look up, you just type in slash info, type in the ticker's name, and then hit enter. And you can see this is a uh, exports markets. Oh, it sells beer and beverages. So it's a beer and beverage. Uh, it's Budweiser. Oh, okay. They make Budweiser Corona. It's a beer company. Okay. It's a beer company. So, um, yeah, I mean, this one looks like a nice stock to trade, right? It has some pretty nice setups here. Uh, 130 would be my stop loss, but I personally would not be trading it because I want to be trading during this time, not during this time, okay? So uh, make sure 130 holds if you're holding on to that. Here's Coinbase. Great request here. Okay, they missed their earnings the other day. Monthly is still green, but again, if Bitcoin does what I think it's going to do over the next couple of uh, months, this thing should be higher, Okay. You just want that confirmation from the monthly. It missed, they missed their earnings here by quite a bit, actually. And they've been sinking ever since. So uh, I would love to buy this around 160 if it happens. Okay, I think we're going to get a move like this. If we get into the green line down here on the Bollinger Band, okay, if you guys aren't familiar with the Bollinger Bands, they are a very popular technical indicator. Okay, it's it has the 30 EMA, and then this red line is typically where you want to sell into. Okay, and then down here is where you want to buy into. See how it hit this green line down here? Gave you the green dot and it ripped. Okay, kind of the same idea. If it comes down to 160, I think you buy this one. All we got to do, folks, is wait for the confirmation of the green dot on the daily here. See where that green dot on the daily comes. If it comes down at 140 or 160, that'd be a great place, in my opinion, to enter on Coinbase. You can see the, the weekly charts red and the monthly charts red, so the bigger time frames are, are red. It is putting in a little doji candle here, or trying to at least. So I would watch, yeah, 160 is my level. I would love to buy this thing at 160 if it happens. Again, waiting for a green dot on Coinbase, and uh, that's how we're going to play that. I'm actually going to add this one into the watch list too, because I want to keep an eye on that one this week. Good call out there. Uh, Jet Blue from Francisco. Okay, we got about three more requests, and then we'll get into the get into the uh, into the watch list here into what I think is going to run this week. Uh, Jet Blue, red on the monthly, very choppy coin. Very, I'm sorry, not coin, stock. But this one's right back into that Bollinger Band I was talking about there. So this is a good level to be loading up on this thing on. Uh, on. You just want to wait for the confirmation of the green dot. This last green dot came down here in August. That was around $4.70. It went all the way up to 8 That was a 100% move. Nice sell-off here. And they actually beat their earnings by a lot. Okay, wow. I'm actually adding this one in as well. And I'll go ahead and set up the alerts on this for you guys. Uh, if you guys are in the Discord, uh, these alerts are called out. These alerts are called out over here in the Discord. So that one will call out the daily. And this one, it is green on the monthly too. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and add both those alerts here. Boom. Bang. Maybe if you guys are in the Discord... You guys remember, you guys get all those called out so you guys can take a look at their charts when you see these go off. I check this thing every single day just to see what's popping. You can see Amazon popped off last week. We had a bunch pop off today. We had FANG, CLH, CRM, BABA. BABA was the chart of the day on TikTok. 
uh, that, that has a nice setup. And that's on the watch list. We'll get to that here in just a second as well. But uh, JetBlue doesn't look bad here. Okay, I like it. It has a green dot on the monthly, all right? So we're definitely watching it. And the daily sold off on a good earnings. They actually beat their earnings and it sold off. So it's right down there into the Bollinger Band. I'd wait for the green dot confirmation. I'm going to move this one up on the watch list too this week. That one looks good. Good call out there, San Francisco, or Francisco. I called you San Francisco. My bad. Uh, super. This is a crypto. This one is also green on the monthly. This one looks really good, right? Green, very strong uptrend here. Daily's also selling off back into the Bollinger Band. We're now below the white line on the blue wave. This looks good. Okay, 99 cents would be my stop, stop loss. You're risking about 10% here on that. Okay, you could actually move your stop loss up to 102 if you wanted to. It's trying to bounce here. But again, I'd wait for the confirmation of the green dot there or wait for like a doji candle, like one of these candles right here. Okay, and then that's where I'd play it. So you need a green dot on this one. I like the call out. Uh, super. I'm going to actually add this one as well. I'll go ahead and add this green circle. So that'll be called out in the Discord when it happens. Let me go ahead and add the monthly too, even though we already got the monthly confirmation. So again, another prime time uh, example of a setup here using a strategy. Okay, green on the monthly. We want to look for a green on the daily. Okay, we want the monthly to add up to the daily. So it's like the monthly chart is where you're aiming and the daily is where you're firing. So uh, again, the last time we got a green dot was right over here in September. That was at 64 cents. It pumped all the way up to 150, 160 for about 120% move. So very, very nice uh, looking project here. Again, green on the monthly. We love to see that. Let's wait for that confirmation of a green dot on uh, super. And this one has made its way onto the watch list. Very nice. Uh, Sherman Sherman Williams. I believe this is a your Williams. There it is. Boom. Okay, nice and green. A little overextended for me. Uh, big move today off of earnings. Got a green dot. I don't really like to buy these big, huge candles. I think this one could hit probably 390 at the best up there, but that's only like a 8% move there. If it pulls back, I don't know. Not my favorite. It does have a green dot, but again, it's already up big. I don't like to chase big fat candles like this. Okay. I'd wait for a pullback maybe to like 670 or something. Uh, again, just not my favorite looking technical trade there on uh, SWH. I'd, I'd look for this thing to top out around uh, 390 to 400. Uh, AMD, and we already covered uh, Celsius. I'll look at Celsius again for you guys uh, in case you're just now tuning in. But AMD, red on the monthly now. Okay, they missed their earnings. Okay, so again, I always say holding into earnings is a gamble. You got the green dot back here on October 25th. It did pump up for like a, I believe that was a 9% gain there. But again, they missed their earnings. So when that happens, it doesn't matter what the technicals are. They're going to flush. So if you want to enter on AMD, what I would do is wait for a green dot on the monthly. Okay, wait for that green dot to come there. Monthly chart. And then play it. But this thing could definitely pull back to 120 uh, around that area. So, again, wait for confirmation. That's now on the red list just because it did not go our way. Okay, we did have some green candles here, but they got they flushed it, right? They flushed it hard, and uh, they missed their earnings by a mile. So, uh, watch the daily to see if they can save it. But uh, it's not looking good, technically. It's not looking good on the monthly Again, I think this thing could probably come down to 120 here on that AMD. You should have been stopped out on this one uh, on the red dot there. And CELH, uh, you guys are requesting this one. You guys keep requesting this one. It's really going to de depend on their earnings on Wednesday. If they beat their earnings, I think this thing's going to break out big. And I think you're going to have a big, big move just based on how much we've sold off. Um, I should put this one in the green list just because I want to watch it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, request this one after Wednesday and we'll cover it again. I just want to see how they do on their earnings. I want to see a beat, right? I want to see a big move to the upside and a pullback. That's what I want to buy. But you did get a green down on the daily here. So $30 is a big, big level for uh, for CELH here. 29 is going to be your stop loss. And that's about an 8% risk. If you want to move it up there to 29.90, be my guest. Again, it's not going to move till earnings is over. So uh, just like AMD, it's always a risk playing earnings. I normally like to wait till after earnings just to see how they react. But I think this one could move big, this earnings that's come around. And they have beat their earnings their last uh, one, 
one, two, three, four, five, six times they've reported. So I really like how bad it's been beaten down. That's why it's so attractive to me. Okay, it's been beaten down really, really hard. So uh, I don't think it'd be bad. It, 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 I don't think it'd be a bad place to go long here. Go long at 30 on CELH if you guys wanted to. Just expect it could have some volatility in the short term with earnings there. So that's it for your guys' requests. I believe that was the last one. Let me check. Yep, that was the last one. Thank you guys for putting those in there. Again, drop those over there anytime. I'll cover them. If I get behind, I normally make a video like this, but normally I'm covering uh, one by one throughout the week. So thank you guys for those. Let's get into the watch list here. Uh, this is Dogecoin. <clears throat> and Dogecoin, again, had our green green dot go off on the monthly there. Elon was pumping this thing. Okay, again, at, once we get the green dot on the monthly, that's normally when we get a big move to the upside on the daily, and we want to wait for a pullback after that happens. So this thing's pulling back now. You can see one, two, three, four red candles in a row. Okay, I still think it has the potential to pull back to 13 to 14. It looks like it did tap 14 there for a second, but what we're waiting on is a green dot on the monthly. And I think this one's going to really depend on the election as well. Okay, uh, depending on the election, because uh, Donald Trump told uh, told the public that Elon Musk is going to be some big finance guy in the in the market. So I, I think he would try to, you know, incorporate Dogecoin into the financial system, which would just be totally insane. But it's really bullish. I mean, a green dot on the monthly chart is, is the bull most bullish signal you can get on the indicator. So now we just have to wait for this pullback, right? We've already got the pullback. Now we're just waiting on the green dot confirmation. That will be called out over here in alerts. It could come today or tomorrow, depending on how we close here. It's up 4% today. Solana is another one that showed a green dot this month. Okay, Solana, very, very popular project here. Uh, everyone's waiting on this big move to the upside. Okay, what I'm watching is uh, the daily chart. Okay, pulling back here. And again, we just want to wait for that green dot confirmation. We want the monthly green dot to match up with the daily green dot. Okay, ideally down here. If we can get it down here just like we did last time in October, boom, at 140, it pumped all the way up to 180. That was a nice, okay, how big was that gain? 30% move. So Solana and Dodge are my top two cryptos for the week. I even got Bitcoin on here too, okay? Bitcoin's looking really, really good. Okay, that one also has a, a monthly dot as well. And we're just watching the daily for the green dot, okay? Watch the daily for the green dot confirmation. All those cryptos are the only ones I've seen with a green dot on the monthly chart so far. Okay, and Bitcoin's obviously the biggest one. So again, green dot on the monthly means, hey, watch the daily for a pullback. And we've gotten the pullback over the last five days on Solana, Dodge, and Bitcoin. So watch for the alerts. Okay, when the alert comes in, Bitcoin is showing a green dot on the daily. That's when you're going to want to take your position. Okay, that's when you're going to want to take your long position. So that could come here at 66, that could come down here at 60K. I don't know, okay? But the indicator will tell us. Okay, I don't do price predictions, I just tell you what the indicator says. Here's Zillow, this is a real estate play, okay? they got It's got the green dot as well. This thing's been absolutely annihilated to the downside. Another one that reports earnings on Wednesday, but you can see big massive pullback with the monthly dot. We got the green dot down here. Uh, what was that? That was on the 31st, so uh, I'm watching, I'm probably setting the stop at 57.50 on this, okay? But again, earnings is always a gamble. So if you guys want to play earnings, I suggest playing half your position before and then half your position after. Or if it goes against you, I just sell my position. Uh, I just never would take a full position on a play going into earnings, okay? It's just risky. You saw what happened to AMD. You saw what happened to JetBlue, okay? You don't want to hold through this. And what causes these big moves in the stock market is earnings, okay? But this pattern right here on JetBlue is similar to this one here. Okay, that was a nice move. So I like JetBlue. Super and JetBlue were two great requests today. I really, really like both those. Uh, Riot, we covered this one, but Riot does have the green dot on the monthly. Again, this is the most bullish signal you can get for a long on any stock or cryptocurrency is a monthly, monthly chart green dot. Okay, the higher the time frame, the more accurate the signals. And we got a green one showing up here in November. Now we're just waiting on the daily. We're waiting for the daily to give us the signal now on Riot. That one looks good. DJT we also covered. Also, no green dot on the monthly, but it does have a green dot on the, uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't have a green dot on the monthly, but it has a green candle. Okay. So now we're just waiting on the daily. So if he misses, if he loses the election, I'm sure this thing will be down here at $15. I still think that could be a pretty good uh, entry on this. 
Of course, if he gets shot or assassinated, this thing's going to zero. That's the biggest risk I, I see toward it. But it is trying to reverse here. I'd be watching the daily for a green dot on DJT. Big day, big day tomorrow for DJT. And here's Baba. This was the chart of the day on TikTok. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, I, I post one uh, chart of the day every single day. I also post them on YouTube and Twitter. But Baba was the chart of the day today. I really, really like this one. It has a green dot on the monthly. It's been absolutely annihilated to the downside. And it has just started a breakout pattern here on the monthly. And it's got a daily dot today. So I got this one with a stop loss at 94. Okay, 94. Call it 94.90. But a green candle and a green dot today on the daily. So here's an example of a monthly dot. Okay, monthly green dot lining up with a daily uh, green dot here on the daily. Yes, it had one over here, sold off a little bit, right? But it didn't break the major, major level there at 94. So I think BABA and Chinese stocks are going to do really, really well. Not sure how they're going to react to the presidential election. So that's obviously a toss up, but uh, BABA looks really good there. Uh, here's uh, Net. Net is a really, really credible company. I actually use them in my marketing business that I run. They're Amazon owned. They have a green dot here on the monthly chart. And the daily is pulling back. So we like the pullbacks on the daily, right? We like the pullbacks on the daily. We just need that thing to print a green dot for us to take a position. I think this is going to move big on earnings too, which is going to be on Thursday. Uh, if it sells off down to 78, I'm definitely going to take a position on it. I just want to wait for that next uh, green dot. I'm hoping it doesn't come on a big fat candle like that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes into, into earnings. The monthly chart is super bullish. So I don't think it'd be that bad to play this thing into earnings. On Thursday, and it's selling off really hard here on the daily. It's sold off for the last like 15 days. So that thing's pulled back big. Again, we like the big pullbacks, and then we like to capitalize on the rips. So if it comes back down to the green line at around $77 or $80, that'd be awesome. I'm kind of hoping they sell off our earnings. We're going to watch that one into Thursday, and I'll keep you guys updated on uh, what it does. But uh, again, just waiting on the green dot confirmation. Okay, green dot confirmation means buy on the daily. And that's how we're playing that. Uh, Lit, L-I-T, this is another stock here. And this thing is, uh, one sec here. This thing is green on the monthly too. This is a lithium play, an ETF play. And that had the green dot on Friday we called out and had a nice move today of about uh, 2%. So this thing, I got a stop loss on this thing at uh, 43. That's a dollar risk to the downside. And that thing just looks like it wants to go up. Okay. If it breaks out of 44.80, that thing will probably pump all the way up there to 48. I really like the monthly chart, and I like this big pullback here on the daily. Consolidation, again, smart money likes to buy on consolidation, right? Consolidation is a good thing. Here's the smart money. We go sideways, sideways, boom. This is where we want to be selling, okay, after a big rip like that. So LIT, this is a little uh, less of a... Uh, a little larger market cap, so a little less uh, reward on this one, but also less risk. You're only risking a, a dollar to the downside with a stop loss around, uh, what is that, 42.90. Here's UPS, another credible company, larger market cap play for you guys. Okay, green on the monthly here. I like UPS into, into Christmas. Their, their, their Christmas season's about to ramp up. They killed their earnings. They did really good on their earnings, and they pumped up really big, about 10%, and then they sold off. So that was a big move up. Sell it off. Okay, green dot will be the confirmation, but I think this thing's going to bounce. Stop loss on this one's going to be around uh, 29.90. This is one of my favorite stock plays right now for a little uh, 5, 10% move. It could even go bigger if it if it breaks out here on the monthly. I mean, back to 162 would be a great, great place to sell. Just waiting on the green dot on the daily. Okay, green dot on the daily will be the confirmation to enter on that one. Here's Home Depot. This one gave you the daily green dot today. It's pretty extended here on the monthly, and they got earnings coming up. So uh, this thing could run up into earnings. Looks like next Tuesday is their earnings. I'd play this one with a stop loss at 389. 389 is going to be your stop loss on uh, Home Depot, and I would be a holder as long as the last dot remains green. Where we sell is when the, the red dot closes, right? If you get a red dot close, that's where you want to sell. Right, sell your position, write it down. You can always get back in on the next green dot. So as long as the last dot is green, the direction is up. But if a red dot comes, right, we got to be disciplined and we got to sell. So I think the target on this one's going to be back up there to 420, which is about a $25 move in the stock. Uh, credible company. Again, I'm seeing green candles all around. 
and uh, another name I think could bounce here off of 390 back up to 420. Here's uh, XOM. This is Exxon Mobil, green on the monthly chart. Okay, nice trend up and to the right. We like that. In here on the daily, big pullback over the last 25 days. They actually beat their earnings. They missed on revenue, but they beat on their earnings. Just waiting on a green dot on this one. I think this thing's going to bounce here off of 115.95. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this one's a nice setup for a move back up to uh, around 126 here. Okay, that'd be a nice little trade there from 120 up to 126. Those are higher cap coins, right? They're not the alt coins that everybody wants to trade, but higher market cap means less risk, but less reward. Okay, the lower the market cap, the more risk there's going to be involved. Here's Baidu. Uh, we called this one out a few days ago. Uh, people have been uh, asking about the update. The, the update is still $88 is the stop loss, okay? Where we bounced right here, as long as $88 holds, Okay, this thing's going to just continue to go sideways. Okay, I'd look to enter. I'm, I'd still be holding my position. I didn't enter off this candle, but I would still be holding my position, okay, waiting for a move. Because again, we don't typically like to sell down here. We want to sell up in this area, okay, after a big move. And I think Chinese stocks can move big here. You saw Baba getting ready to break out. I think a green dot will come on by you this week. Uh, just set your stop loss. You're, you're risking $2 to the downside. $2 to the downside is a 2% risk on a trade, less than 2% risk on a trade. Okay, you're always going to risk something. You just want to make sure that risk is very, very low. So $88 is still the stop loss on Baidu, still looks good. Okay, I think a green dot's going to come either uh, tomorrow or the next day, as long as, you know, the world doesn't blow up or something. Uh, here's, uh, it's a Shopify. Shopify is green on the monthly chart. Okay, looking good, pointing up. Also, another name that has earnings next week, next Tuesday, and uh, I like the pullback here. Okay, my level I'm watching right now is around 76, just waiting on a green dot confirmation. Once you get the green dot, that's where I take the take the trade. Again, the monthly is trending up. Therefore, we are on the daily looking for a trade, looking for a pullback. This thing hit 85 and pulled back here, uh, watching this one like a hawk for a green dot. And the last one's going to be NEO. Uh, you guys were asking for an update on this as well. Okay, green dot came right here on this candle. The stop loss is still going to be right there at, at $5. Okay, it's holding $5 like a champ right now. Uh, looks like the monthly candle has turned red. But this thing, again, you just got to make sure it holds, I'm going to call it 498. Okay, so again, if you're taking a trade here on NEO, it's a 3% risk to the downside. We called it out on this candle. It pumped up over 12% to $6. It went from 513 to $6 and then sold off. So you can see it's trying to hold on to 498 there. So again, what you're gonna to wanna to watch for is a green dot for an entry if you're not already in it. And that's gonna be your entry. Okay, I think this thing could easily be back up here at $7 uh, as long as five holds. That's the watch list in your guys' chart requests. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to hit me up inside the Discord. Uh, if you're not inside the Discord, it's free to join. You guys can get access to all the free stuff over here. We're also doing giveaways. It looks like we just got the winner, Omni. He won 100 XRP. So, Omni, go ahead and shoot me your uh, XRP wallet address, and I will get you over that 100 XRP. Congratulations on winning there. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, uh, my email is right here in the server rules, overkill at overkillinvesting.club. Uh, if you are a part of the Discord, if you are a member of the Discord, you obviously have the ability to chat over here inside the member chat, ask questions, connect with other traders. Um, if you guys want more information about that, that's right here in the Become a Member thread. But the Discord is free to join, but there is a paid version where you could join for as little as $4 a month and get access to the watch lists, all the alerts, chat, right, the research tool. You could request charts for future videos and uh, much, much more. You can see what I'm trading and uh, what other Spartans in the Discord are trading as well. And then all the links to everything, if you're new to trading, right, the trading apps are over here. You guys can start your TradingView account, which is the website we were looking at today. Uh, there's, you guys can start trading on Robinhood. You guys can start trading on Coinbase. I typically buy cryptos on Coinbase and I buy stocks on Robinhood. And then we got the trading rules over here. I got a free trading course here. And then the trading indicator you guys can download that we talked about today. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. Uh, you guys read the disclaimer and things like that. I am not a personal or I'm not a financial advisor. Okay, this is for education and documentation purposes only. And uh, yeah.
Thank you guys for watching. God bless you. If you guys got any more requests, feel free to drop them over here. Check out TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube. I'll be dropping shorts throughout the week and uh, in here engaging with you guys inside the chat. God bless you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.